Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is another video tutorial of Photoshop Element 6. First, did you notice Adobe's website? I want you to stop over there and have a look. Apparently, uh, Photoshop CS4 is getting ready to be released, as well as Adobe Photoshop Element 7. Can you believe it's like every year they're throwing in a new version at us and we have to learn more tools? So let's go ahead and learn more about Photoshop Element 6 today. And just as a, um, a, a note, just a quick uh, administrative note, if you want to donate to the show, please, by all means, I've had a few people already uh, actually send in some donations, and that helps greatly. Uh, it helps with the, uh, with the hosting fees I have to uh, pay to actually have the website uh, up, because you know you go to jackstechcorner.com and you can find all the video tutorials you can find links to all the uh, forums and the blogs. It's just a nice place to go so we can all get together. Helps to pay for that as well as um, helping to foot the bill for some of this new software so I can keep teaching you these new and great uh, ideas. Okay, today I have a couple things for you. And it's back, um, I've, since I did the last show on how to put the signature on multiple files, I've gotten some emails and some comments of people asking, how would we use this tool for other items? Now what I mean by the other items, if you click on file, we're, we're in the editor once again folks, if you click on file and go to process multiple files, in here is where we're talking about. Um, and a lot of people ask me about these different uh, items in here. We went over the watermarking last week. And I want to show you something cool with the watermarking. I said CC means copyrighted. I've gotten a couple comments where CC actually means carbon copy, you know, on the email. Um, I don't know if it stands for actually copyrighted. I thought it did somewhere in my mind. Um, but I found a little trick. If you hold down the Alt key and on your keyboard, on your number keys, hit 0169 and leave it go. At that point now, you can see right here we have the little C inside the circle. Once again, that's Alt, 0169 six nine and then leave them go and then that C comes in there and that's absolutely a copyright mark but with that we're not working on this today that was from last segment so let's close that out what we want to talk about this segment is we want to talk about some of this renaming files now you would say why would you want to rename files does that make any sense at all it does when I do weddings I like to rename the files once I get them all edited because you know our cameras give them weird names. Uh, your camera may give it like a KOD for like a Kodak 00725, um, whatever, weird names. We want to clean that up before we actually show it to a customer or present that. So what we want to do here is we can rename our files. We can actually go down here and we can resize our images. Now this is great, say if we're going to take a, um, a whole folder full of images, say you have 40 maybe 50 images you want to resize those to put them on the internet because on the internet we don't need the high resolution picture because when grandma and grandpa get on there with their dial up modem what seems to happen is it takes them hours to download a picture that's not really great for grandma and grandpa they don't want to see the pictures at that point they're like the heck with it they go on they play their their bingo on pogo.com so this allows us to resize the pictures i generally use on here 800 by 600 is a pretty decent resolution they still look really really good and you can probably 150 is really good you can drop it down to 96 if you wish and they're still gonna look really really good let's take that off of there now this convert files too. you can convert a file a whole folder of files to any basic uh, image style you want Pixar PNG uh, Photoshop raw which I wouldn't recommend TIFF which are gonna be very large but just so you know it's there, you can convert your files. I don't use that very much. Today then we're going to concentrate on renaming our files. So we're going to rename our files. Let's first go ahead and get some files to rename. Let's go into pictures, in my folder here. I'll bring this down so we can see it in the recording. Um, let's go down here to, how about the lodge? Now you can see how these are actually named. And that's probably how I imported them. But let's say we take these here. We're going to copy these out. And go up. And new folder. 
rename. All right, we'll go in here. We're going to paste these in here. There we go. We pasted those in there. Now let's go up again. And we're going to create that folder to hold our pictures in once they're renamed. And I'll make this in all caps. Renamed. All right. Let's minimize that. So now let's go ahead and grab that folder that we have in there called rename. It's right here. That's the pictures we want to rename. The destination folder, where do we want them to go? We want them to go under renamed. Let's go down here and put it here. And we're going to rename these. You could do a document name. You could do a serial number. Um, you could do serial letters, A, B, and C. You could do dates. What we're looking to do here is we want to actually change these. And we're going to give them a custom name. If we can get this highlighted here. Let's put in here wedding. Wedding edited. Or how about wedding complete. And then we're going to add a number onto the end of this. You'll see it say wedding complete dot gift. And starting serial number, we're going to add a number to the end of this. So we may want wedding and a three digit number. Here you go. Wedding 001.gift because it's going to start with one and work its way up. One, two, three, four, and five. That's exactly how we'd set it up. Once you get all that ready to go, hit your process or OK. That's going to process those files and go ahead and rename them for us. As you can see, it opens them in the editor just so it can process those files. Let's get those processed up here pretty quick. It's only a few files. Don't have that much to work with. All right, now when we go to upload those to the internet, or we go to send those off to our customer, we go down here to renamed. And if I go to details, I can show you how those files have been renamed. Now you can see it's wedding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Leaving the original pictures, just let me show you that for a second. Leaving the original pictures untouched. So it's making a copy of that picture. And uh, 4665, I want to see if this is the same size. Actually, it made it smaller. It made it 716 kilobits. So you make sure you set that. Let's see if we've got enough time here. i got to watch this video also. Oops. Uh, make sure we're not running out of time. We want to also make sure when you process these, make sure you set this to JPEG high quality. You want to make sure you do that. Let's see if we can process them again here real quick. Hopefully we don't run out of time on the video. I'm going to pause this to get this done. So what I did here was I actually just did the one file for you. And you can see now when you set that to JPEG high quality, what happens is it maintains the size of the picture and it doesn't resize them down. You gotta be careful that if you resize these down and you send them out to the developer, then uh, your person who's buying these pictures from you, you're gonna have a lot of trouble getting those developed at a high resolution. Well, I hope this helped you out, and I'm just about out of time on my YouTube 10-minute time limit. So have a great day, and keep the comments rolling in, and I'll, I'll be a answering those. Also, go over to the uh, jackstechcorner.com and jump on the forums. Uh, seems like we're getting a lot of people there talking back and forth. Have a great day, and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.